sports fans here we are for another exciting night in the Chickasaw card collecting TP we are still in the process of making our final adjustments to present you with the finest entertainment possible that you can find on the YouTube I'm not going to explain all that stuff to you, but if you've dealt with YouTube long enough, you know there are problems. Okay, here we are tonight. We are on the Chickasaw Card Collecting Channel. We have our United States of America flag as a background. We have a new package in the house. Tape. <laughs> And then we've got that thing in the background. It says do not band. That came in before the box. So what we're going to do is we're going to open this big old rascal here first. Do you see that thing? I mean, can you see that thing from here? Look at the size of that thing. Do not bend with exclamation points on both sides of the rescue well okay here we go <clears throat> it says do not bend but it doesn't say anything about do not apply sharp objects there's a sharp object right there that's a official chicksaw tp nra knife so the official chicksaw tp knife A little bit at a time. Let's move in closer to the object. We might need more teepee knife. Just feel glad that you're not a buffalo with the end the reach of the buffalo knife from the Chickasaw. Okay, here we go. We've gotten rid of, of the outer layer. And this is what we're left with, sports fans. Oh! What is that? What is that? It says program info sheet. On this on that. Oh. Okay, let me just program info sheet. So this must be definitely, oh, better be careful. Somebody lift this envelope. It could be, possibly could have some COVID virus on it, but I doubt it. Here we go. Program info sheet. What? Oh my God, did you see that? I was attacked by an inanimate object. It says, Brooks Robinson, Ralph Hoke, Al Bumbry. It's just, this thing just don't want to stand by itself. Barry Chitone, or Tane, President MPBPA. Moose Haas, Wild Bell, who the hell is he? Steve Stone, Jim Frey, and Mike Schmidt. Do any of you guys know who that Mike Schmidt guy is? <clears throat> well, we better open that rascal up before it just jumps out of the package at us. It's just like going up the breastbone of a deer. And then you spread the ribs to see what's inside. Let's bring it a little closer to make it a little personal.
I don't know about you all, if you've ever dealt with the BITG before, but he definitely takes some pride in wrapping packages that he sends to his customers. So here we are. We're down to what could be considered the piece. Okay, here we go. This is just a this is a whole box here, fellers. This is a whole mailing box here with the sticky glue on it and everything. BITG went all out. Went to great expense to make sure that this came to, it says, came to the uh, Chickasaw teepee. And the pieces that it was supposed to program rose print. Program rose print. And up here it says Jackson. Jackson 5x7. Does it say Jackson or Jolson? I don't know any Jolson. So it must be Jackson 5x7. And program and rose print. I don't know about y'all, but rose print could this be a feminine thing he sent me i sure hope not rose that seems to be feminine in some way we apply the hmm. boy it sure seems to be a strange thing let's see we'll take this this top one first here Will it stay there? Oh, 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 we're going to have to... Okay. You have to remember, in the Tatepe, we have a very limited amount of room to work with. I know a lot of you aren't really familiar with something like that. You, Most of you fellers that are watching me, you guys have square feet, you know, square feet and uh, observation towers and outlying sheds and but in the teepee we're very limited on our square feet footage oh, okay here we go now see where i come from this tape here this brown tape you see this this is what we use to wrap up our packages of game meat when we stick it in the freezer of course we use a freezer wrap for it Okay, we got one more piece of tape here. <clears throat> Man. Okay, we've got it out. Of course, this is cardboard. This is going by the wayside. It says, now, okay, it's more clear now, isn't it? It says Jackson 5x7. So we know a few Jacksons, don't we? <clears throat> we know the Jackson 5. Could the Jackson 5 be in here? All of them? Well, you know, time has went on, so it could be Jackson 5 times their next 7 generations. Or their next 7 family members. So, could this be a Jackson 5 CD? A CD with music and stuff on it that goes all the way back to the 1970s where little Michael, I mean, little, little Michael, he was like about this tall when you watched him on TV and he had this squeaky voice. ABC, ABC. He knew his alphabet back then. That's the difference between today and and back then, they taught kids the alphabet. Okay, Jackson, five by seven. Let's get into it. Ooh, oh my God. The... Here we go, here we go, people. Are we ready to see the Jacksons? 
at the Jackson 5 plus their future family. Well, no. This is a Reginald Martinez Jackson Mr. October autograph of his New York Yankees Statuary Park National Baseball Hall of Fame and Museum. And here we go with the JSA certification number. It is official, ladies and gentlemen. This is an official Reggie Jackson. <clears throat> I don't know about y'all, but I might have preferred the visage of Reggie Jackson to be the guy from October 1977 instead of the guy from December of 2015. Exciting performer who played for 11 division winners and found special success in World Series Spotlight with 10 home runs 24 RBIs and 357 batting average in 27 games in 1977 series. Hit five homers, four of them consecutive, including three in one game and three first pitches off three different hurlers. Well, that means pitchers. Mammoth Clout marked 1971 All Star game, 563 homers ranked. Sixth on the all-time list, and he's the AL MVP of 1973. Whew. That's a lot to get into one breath. I mean, he played for five ball clubs over the course of his career from 1967 to 1986. It's a 19-year career. And I think if I was Mr. Reggie Jackson, I'd have preferred a different picture of myself be displayed on my Hall of Fame statue. I don't know how the rest of you feel, but... It's very nice. Very nice. Alrighty. Okay, so we have this here. That's the Jackson 5x7. And I think we'll just stick it right back in the package and keep it <clears throat> protected by the bubbles for all time. Look at that. Look at that. The sharpness of the Chickasaw Bison skinning knife almost made it all the way in. Jackson goes by the wayside. Okay, here we go. Program and rose print program rose print what would that signify to y'all <laughs> flowers don't tell you This is just amazing. Just amazing. Okay. There we go. This is one package of amazement. Let me tell you, boys and girls. Look at that big one. It says, Feller print. Well, I'm a feller. A lot of you guys are fellers. There's a lot of people out there that cut down trees. They're fellers. So what that, could that be a print of? I don't know. But we'll look at this little one first. It says Program Rose Print. We've got some more tape to dispense with. With the Chickasaw Bison Skinny Knife. So, just remember, any of you that find yourself 
in a survival situation and you fell the bison on the field of battle, call the Chickasaw. He'll come with his official NRA knife and help you skin it, quarter it, and get your meat to home. Back to a teepee. Alright, here we are. This is a plastic package holding whatever this prize is, this rose print. Okay, we've gotten rid of the cardboard protection device and we're into the plastic. See how do we get in? Okay, here we go. Wait a minute. I think it's on this end. Press firmly to seal. I think it's get out the bison skinning knife to open it up. Cut the whole end of it off like you would the... Oh my god. I may not want to open this, fellas. I may not want to take this out. It seems to be very, very fragile. <clears throat> Banquet and dance. Look at that. Maryland Professional Baseball Players Association Friday, January 9, 1981, Eastland. Barry Chetron, President. There's Barry Chetron's autograph right by that. We've got a red auto. There's Ralph Hulk auto. I don't know who that is. Wild Bill. Man. It says C inside two. Two. Oh, that means also. So we see inside also. We see some Baltimore Orioles pliers. The hospitality committee. 29 years of leadership. See any names there you recognize? Honored guests. And then awards ceremony. There's Cal Ripken, Maryland Star of the Future. Ralph Huck. Red Sox Eddie Rommel Award, Brooks Robinson, Baltimore Orioles Babe Ruth Crown Award. So basically what we've got here, people, this is a program. See, it says right here, Program National Anthem by Mary Burble. The Lord's Prayer was by Jim Elliott, and the Invocation, Reverend Martin Schwallenberg. Master of Ceremonies, Vince Bagley. And the welcoming was Francis E. Schweika, Jr., the Banquet Chairman. Now, there were a great many notable members. This is the Maryland Professional Baseball Players Association, Inc. i share with you the names in this program. Now, we must remember that this is the 28th annual Tops in Sports from January 9, 1981. Okay? That has to be cemented into your memory as we forge our way through this annal. Board of Governors. All kinds of names none of us recognize. But if you look through some of these names, do you see any that you recognize? Family members of players. Players themselves. These are all Maryland baseball players or and here we go with the chaplains past presidents all important 
people at the time of this celebration. There's Vince Bagley, the Master of Ceremonies, Tim McCarver. Tim McCarver. We all know who he is if you're a sports fan. There's Al Bumbry, 1980's most valuable Oriole. Well, there's an advertiser. There's another advertiser with an autograph. E. Stuart Mitchell. But no, it's not. It's Steve Stone. That's a Steve Stone autograph on that page, people. Outstanding Oriole pitcher and 1980 Cy Young Award winner. There is his auto. Then we go to Jim Frey. Kansas City Royals, 1980 American League Manager of the Year, with his autograph in this program. Congratulations from the Providence Savings Bank. And then we have Brian Moose Haas. There's another advertiser. Oh, here we go. Now we're talking. This is a Hall of Famer. This is Mike Schmidt, and there's his autograph, by golly. He was awarded the Babe Ruth crown. Mike Schmidt, the winner of three Babe Ruth crowns, becomes the first baseball player in history to enjoy three seasons of slugging superiority. Previous Babe, Babe, oh wait a minute, I'm sorry, Babe Ruth, yeah, Babe Rube, he's not a real player, but Babe Ruth is. Look at that, Mano, Williams, Banks, Matthews, two Maris, is a maze, Aaron, Killebrew, Mays, Robinson, Yaskremski, Howard, Killebrew, Ben, Joe Torrey, there's Johnny Bench, Willie, Willie Stargell, Schmidt, Greg Luzinski snuck in there one year, and then Schmidt got back in, George Foster, a great batsman, Jim Rice, Dave Kingman, Seattle Mariner and Mike Schmidt again in 1980 and they decided to put a picture of the babe in there from 1927 when his nasal receptor area was at its largest 54 years ago the sports world proudly crowned the babe for a slugging feat that will be remembered as the long as long as the game of baseball is played. 60 home runs in a season. Tonight, we again commemorate that outstanding achievement by awarding two Babe Ruth crowns. One honoring the 1980 slugging champion. The other citing a batting star from the past. And you can tell by the age, the staple is rusting. I can tell you what, that the Chickasaw, there's another staple up there, rusting. The Chickasaw will take this someplace to get rid of the rust so that this can be preserved forever. There's Brooke Robinson, and there's previous retroactive Babe Ruth Crown recipients, Hall of Famers, one and all. And we go on to the next page. Scott McGregor, 20-game winner, Baltimore Orioles. Uh, another advertiser. And there's an Edwin A. Rommel Award. Ralph Huck. And there's previous recipient. Very nice. Wouldn't you agree? And there's the 1981 Maryland Star of the future award winner Cal Ripken. See at the time he wasn't yet a junior. I know I know his dad was a grown up person but <clears throat> they added the junior at a later date. And here are the previous recipients of the Maryland Star of the Future Award. Do you see any Hall of Famers in here? Ron Swoboda, maybe. Spriggs. 
These are all Maryland stars. There's Brian Moose Haas of the Brewers. Harold Baines of the White Sox, names we can all remember. And, and then in memoriam, deceased members of the MPBPA. I don't remember too many of these names, but they all deserve our prayers. We move on to the next. Oh, look at this. To create, make, originate, form, imagine, bring into being this right here is the original PDF dude. He's creating the PBF PDF format right here. There's community termite and pest control, East Coast. Has trouble with termites. Another advertisement. Congratulations to the 1980 Maryland Professional Hearst All-Star Baseball. Well, I'm sorry. All-Star Team and John Thornton, most valuable player of the game. See if you guys notice, recognize, slobbering over any names. How about that? Babe Ruth with the crown on. Babe Ruth, the classic Babe Ruth car, classic card collector's edition. 80 cards of the Sultan of Swat complete set. $8 post pay, baby. I'd do that right now, wouldn't you? I'd send for 10, 15 of them. And here we go with uh, some more advertisers from the time. Every one of them deserve recognition on the Chickasaw video. And here we are on the last two pages, Tops in Sports Boosters. They're important to Maryland sports, so we will share them on the Chickasaw Card Collecting Channel. Johnny's 1980 All-National Champions. What a group of guys that is. Look at the names. Do you re recognize any of the names? Joe Morgan. Team record, 173 and lost 14. How about that? That's a pretty good record for them fellas, isn't it? Oh, how about, oh, I've missed that. The Walking Man's Friend, Johnny's New and Used Cars, the Hillbilly from Georgia. That's kind of been the catch line I used. Here we go. This is the back side of the program from that 1981 gathering. How about that? Is that something special? And here's a full view of the cover again with all the autographs of the people that attended that night. Can you imagine, boys and girls, that somebody actually attended this thing in 1981, received this program as they walked in the door and had the foresight to get autographs from all these people just so me, the Chickasaw Card Collecting Channel, can share it with y'all from my teepee. Do you guys feel special? Because I really do. Okay, on to the next part of the program. Does anybody recognize this fella? Pete Rose. Mr. Pete Rose. That's an autograph. That's a professional baseball photograph. And it has the official mark on it as a real thing and there's another piece of certification on the back that says this is a real piece of sports memorabilia and signed by the fellers whose face and shoes is on and in this picture I really am glad that you guys have 
decided to stop on in and gather around the fire fire of the Chickasaw Card Collecting Channel because I have some special things that I have shared with you tonight. But this last one might be the cherry on the top of your ice cream sundae. I don't know how to get into this thing because I know how pretty this thing is. Let's go to the back side. Oh, there's tape. There's some sealing stuff back here. How do we get into it? The Chickasaw has to be careful. I mean, this isn't this isn't like skinning your everyday bison because there's a special piece of something in here. So we need to go. Ooh. We need to go gentle with it. Yes, we need to go gentle with it. Oh wait, there's a lot of cardboard in there so we can be a little more... Okay. Let's go over to the other side. We can take the top right off of it. You know, I wish it was that easy to skin a bison. But it really isn't. Okay, here we go. I've taken off the plastic shipping. And we're down to this big old thing. Okay, I don't actually know how to get into this thing safely without damaging what's inside. I'll try to be as careful as I can. It's nice that I have a surgical type knife to get into this. Because what's inside here is a very valuable piece of sports history so I'm attempting a very delicate operation let's pretend like the bison is still alive and I'm trying to You know, bison. I still am trying to figure this out. Now this, we have to treat it like it's a bison. And this is a ceremonial event. The bison is still breathing. Its chest rising and sinking. And as a Native American, we need to remove the heart while it's still alive and eat of the heart to take the strength of the bison into our body. This is how delicate we need to be with the contents of this package. So it's open. Oh well, by golly, maybe it we didn't need to be that. Oh, this look at that. Look at the size of the plastic protecting this thing. I thought it was a lot more fragile than man, I could have tore into this thing and wouldn't hurt it a bit. There's the JSA certification number. Basic certification. Congratulations, Chickasaw. And this is what we have, boys and girls. This is a baseball player by the name of Bob Feller. He autographed this. This is a painting of him. Two paintings of him, actually. with his autograph and then as we look down on the bottom right there that's the authenticity number 
and this is the artist Doug West Bob Feller, Hall of Fame pitcher. I know there are a lot of pretty pictures in the world, but one like that, Hall of Fame pitcher with a flag of the USA behind him, considering he's a feller that also served in World War II, if I remember right. And if I don't, y'all can call me on it. It's beautiful. Isn't it, boys and girls? Hmm. Piece of art. Piece of art. And I'm going to have to take that to my local artist then and have them put it in a frame. It's well worth that. Well, boys and girls, <clears throat> that is going to be the end of this video. It took a little longer than I thought it would, but it certainly was worth it, wasn't it? I mean, look at that. Bob Feller. Life size, almost. Wow, what a painting. What a painting. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. All right, fellas, I'll see you on the uh, next episode of the Chickasaw Card Collecting Channel YouTube Experience. Bye-bye.